Welcome to NNG University, where today we will be covering how to start a business checklist. This course is designed to provide the process to start a business, and it's going to be brought to you by NNG Consulting. Hi there, I am Brittany Walker with NNG Consulting, here to serve you with positive, productive, and peaceful strategies. The modules that we'll be covering today are register your business, how to obtain an EIN, which is your employer identification number, acquire a business address, request for a business phone number, establish a business bank account, get a Duns and Bradstreet number, obtain a sales tax ID, generate a business plan, and build business credit and generate funding. So our overview and objectives for today include demonstrate the process to register a business and develop a plan of action based on methods and fees. We're going to begin discussing how to register your business. Now to the right hand side, we have a master list of all the options for the Secretary of State based off of the state and territory that you live in. This document can be found under the resource section of this course. So you will need to obtain your registration from the Secretary of State. Now fees do vary based off of the state that you're registering in. For instance, in the state of Texas, it costs $300 to register your LLC or your corporation. Now the different other entities entities that you could choose from is sole proprietorship, your general partnership, a corporation, whether it's a C-Corp or an S-Corp, and then the limited liability company, which is an LLC. We offer a course through NNG University that's called Businesses Entities Explain that will give you more insight on the difference on which entity you should be choosing. Next, you're going to obtain an employer identification number, which is considered your EIN. You're able to get this from the IRS and you can register for free to obtain this number. Your EIN is similar to in a social security number, but for your business. For instance, you register in your business, you will receive a certificate of formation from the Secretary of State, and that's technically like your birth certificate. But your EIN is like your social security number. So this is the number that is specialized and associated with your business. It also allows you to pay your employees and use this number to have your business account set up. Acquire a business address. Now, if it is within your budget, you are able to obtain an office space, then you can get a physical address based off of that office space. But if you're going to go the virtual route, you are able to obtain your address for as low as $10 a month by doing an online business address. There are several companies that you can use, for example, iPostal, Traveling Mailbox, or even Physical Address, where they will open your mail for you and scan it into an online portal. That way you have immediate access to your mail. If you opt out to not have them open your mail, you can have them keep all your mail together and mail it to whichever address you prefer once or twice a month based off of which company you choose. So these are alternatives. Therefore, you wouldn't have to use your physical home or residential address on all of your business paperwork. You need to register for a business phone number. Now you could do this through Google. By having a G Suite or a Google account, you are able to use your current cell phone number and attach a Google number to it. By doing so, you're able to download the Google phone app and you're able to place calls and send messages through this Google number. An alternative is that you can go to your wireless carrier. Now for an additional fee, you are able to obtain a business number as well. That way you don't have to put your personal house number or cell phone phone number associated with anything regarding your business. Establish a business bank account. So try opening a bank account where you currently have your personal checking and savings at. This shows to the bank that you have a good rapport and a good history with them, and they will be more than happy to open up an actual business account for you. Some fees may be associated as far as what you have to pay as a monthly cost if you're not meeting a certain threshold of deposits. Also, they might want you to start off with a certain deposit amount or a minimum amount, so you need to be mindful of doing the research between all the different banks. Now, you do have the option to open open a business bank account online. Some of the available options we recommend is Alley, Mercury, or even Novo. Even through Alley Financial, you're able to also get cars, mortgage loans, and other additional needs that may be beneficial for your business down the line.
you need to get a Duns and Bradstreet number or a D-U-N-S number. Now, it is directly from Duns and Bradstreet, which is an organization designed to help businesses succeed. Getting a Duns and Bradstreet number is like getting an alternative social security number because there are certain companies that will report your business credit or your line of credit under your EIN number. But there are other organizations that actually use your Duns and Bradstreet. So it's very important to have both. Duns and Bradstreet website also gives a plethora of resources that are beneficial to your business along with helping you obtain additional funding needed to get started and to operate. It's absolutely free to register, but you must be in the Secretary of State system and must have a legitimate EIN with a business address and phone number associated. When you go to register for your DUNS number, it is going to look your business up based off of the Secretary of State's information about your business being filed and from the IRS based off of the information filed through your EIN. You also would need to obtain a sales tax ID. Now, even though this is an optional feature, it is free to do. You are able to obtain it from your state controller's office. And this is a very important feature needed when you are completing wholesale purchasing because you are able to receive your items at a discounted rate. So your sales tax, so your sales tax ID is very important. What you need to know additional with a sales tax ID based off of which state you registered in, you have to report state taxes anyway. So this is very beneficial for those who already have to report state taxes. It makes it easier for you to complete the process. You need to generate a business plan. Now, building a business plan is essential and extremely important for your business because it outlines the strategies and the opportunities for your business. It is going to tell step for step on who your business is, what you're trying to bring to the table, which products and services you're offering, what problem you're looking to resolve, your marketing strategies, your competitors, and then also your financial projections and funding requests. If you would like to learn more about business plans, there is a course through NNG University on how to develop a business plan. Build business credit and generate funding. Now, developing business credit for funding purposes is very important. You have to be a registered entity with the EIN, with your phone number, your business bank account, your business address, and your DUNS number. And you're able to use OPM or other people's money to fund your business and to get started. Until you start making applicable sales and able to not only have revenue but profit, business credit is very lucrative for startup businesses. It's an easy process and you can learn more through NNG University as we have a how to develop business credit course. Now once you begin selling your product and or service you're able to generate funding as well that will assist. If you use your personal assets or savings to start up your business then you're able to replenish or replace those funds, pay out your expenses and then keep generating products and services that will produce additional revenue for you and then in turn turn into profit. Now it is also important to seek investment opportunities that align with your purpose. Maybe there is an investor that truly believes in your vision, but they're not trying to get over on you. They're not trying to acquire the business from you, but they genuinely want to be an angel investor. These are opportunities that we recommend that you seek. Do not take any opportunity that comes your way. It is very important that you follow your intuition and your sacral chakra to determine what is the best fit for your brand because a great salesman can see or sense when somebody is impatient or when they're overly anxious or they really, really are desperate for funding and you could get taken advantage of in that way. So we ask that you please be mindful and don't say yes instantly to any major business decision. You definitely need to hone in on what's going on, review all the details thoroughly before making a major decision. You also have the availability to apply for applicable grants. If your business is within an industry that funding is prominent, you are able to discuss Discover funding opportunities. There's websites like SAM, S is in spiritual, A is in affirmation, and M is in manifestation.gov that will be a great assistance for you. There's also agencies besides the Small Business Administration, the SBA, that offer opportunities such as the Minority Business Development Agency. Also, there's the National Minority Supplier Development Council that gives you information about grants that are available for your business.
Now to recap, we did review how to register your business, obtain an EIN, acquire business address. You can request for a business number. You can establish a business bank account. You can get a DUNS number, obtain a sales tax ID, or generate a business plan. Also build business credit and generate funding. Now, we did not mention nonprofit businesses as an entity. That is an option that you can go for also, such as a PLLC, which is considered a private LLC. If you would like to learn more about these entities, they are much more complex and should be advised through a consultant. So you are able to reach out to us for more details and we will be able to elaborate more on those entities. Now, for any questions or concerns, contact us at our website at www.nngconsulting.org. You can email us at info at nngconsulting.org or follow us on Instagram at nngconsulting, where the link in our bio has access to our Linktree account, which is linktree forward slash nngconsulting, that gives you a host of different resources that are beneficial for you that can assist you with registering your business, establishing your EIN, plus more. Now, feel free to check out our other courses through NNG University. We have how to develop business credit, customer service excellent, eight frequencies of elevation, time management success, executing new hire orientation, plus more. We hope that you've enjoyed the course for today with Business Entities Explained. We hope that you enjoy the remainder of today and be positive, productive, and peaceful in all that you do.